Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. I'm wearing my green today because next week is St. Patrick's Day. You're welcome for the reminder. Don't forget to wear green. I don't want you getting pinched, but St. Patrick's Day is on Thursday. So if I posted this video next week, I would be too late. So I'm here a week early to get you prepared for St. Patrick's Day by showing you how to make three super fun, super delicious treats. I'm gonna show you how to make mint chocolate chip cookies, Lucky Charms treats, and the cutest ever shamrock shake. I am so excited to show you how to make these recipes, but if you're new to this channel, please, before we get started, drop a comment down below and introduce yourself. Tell me something interesting about you. I'm so glad that you found your way to my channel. If you're excited about this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you're the first to see my videos whenever they drop. Okay, let's go. We're gonna kick it off with Lucky Charms treats. In a large pot, melt your butter over medium heat and then add in all but one cup of an entire bag of mini marshmallows. Reduce the heat to low and then stir it until the marshmallows are completely melted. Then remove it from the heat and stir in some vanilla extract and then add in all of your Lucky Charms cereal plus the remaining one cup of marshmallows until everything's incorporated. Now pour it into a lined nine inch square baking dish and then use your fingers to press them down into the pan. Now this part can get kind of sticky so a hack that I discovered is to make sure your fingers are dipped in water and that helps them not to stick. And that's it. Allow these to set up for about an hour and then you can cut them into bars. They're so delicious. Moving right along to the mint chocolate chip cookies, we're gonna start by creaming together the butter and the sugar. This is what helps make your cookies really fluffy and soft. Get the sugar in there. All of these measurements are down in the description box below if you wanna make these at home. All right, once that's all incorporated and nice and fluffy, we're going to crack one egg into this mixture, along with half a cup of sour cream. This is another cookie hack to get really, really soft cookies. I know it probably sounds so weird, but it works. I do this with my sugar cookies too. Comment down below if you've tried that recipe because it's delicious. And then one more soft cookie hack is a package of vanilla pudding mix. You use the instant kind. A 3.4 ounce box will work. They didn't have that one at the store though. All they had was the big kind, so I'm just gonna do a majority of this, but not quite all of it. There, that's probably good. And mix all that up. Amazing, okay, now for our dry ingredients, we're gonna need a separate bowl. You're gonna combine all-purpose flour with baking soda and salt. Get this all mixed up. And then while our wet ingredients are mixing on slow, we're gonna slowly add in our dry ingredients. I am actually gonna use a measuring cup so I don't make a mess. You wanna mix that until it's just combined. Don't over mix it. Now finally, it's time for the flavors and the add-ins. So you're gonna do two teaspoons of peppermint extract, three drops of blue food coloring, and then 10 to 15 drops of green food coloring. And mix. Amazing. Y'all, this dough smells so good. Last but not least, we are going to mix in our chocolate chips. I like to do this part by hand just because I feel like when you do it with the mixer, the chocolate chips sometimes break. I don't want them to break. So I'm just gonna get this off of the paddle. I always leave a little bit extra on because you know we have to do a taste test. Let's see how we did. <gasps> mm. This is lovely. Oh yeah. All right, now we're gonna add in our chocolate chips and then stir these in by hand. I don't know why, but I'm getting major Grinch vibes. These look like the Grinch himself. Ooh, I wonder how this would be with mint chocolate chip ice cream. Like if you made a sandwich, could you imagine like mint chocolate chip cookies with mint chocolate chip ice cream in the middle together. Oh, too bad I don't have any of that. Perfect. Wow, look at that. That's probably the most satisfying cookie dough I've ever made. Now just drop them into balls on a cookie sheet and bake them at 375 for 10 minutes. And last but certainly not least, the shamrock shake. Now, because this is a milkshake, we don't want it to melt too quickly. So before we make our milkshake, we're going to decorate our glass. This is absolutely optional, but it's just way more fun. And I think milkshakes are more exciting when they've got some fun on the cup. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of vanilla frosting. You can use anything sticky. And I'm just gonna wrap the outside. My friend Gracie owns a milkshake bar here in Nashville called Gracie's Milkshake Bar. And she makes these like super giant 
ginormous crazy milkshakes, which is what is inspiring today's Shamrock Shake. If you're ever in Nashville, you'll have to go check it out. Amazing, and now I've got some Lucky Charms here on a plate. I'm just gonna carefully roll the outside in the frosting and try to get a bunch of marshmallows to stick to it. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, that works pretty good. I think I might do a few by hand. I remember I used to love Lucky Charms. Comment down below if you were that type of person who would just eat all the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms or say, or were you that kind of person that saved the marshmallows until the very end? So you ate all the cereal, but then you ended with all of the marshmallows. I was definitely that kid. Amazing. Okay, this looks great. Check it out, this is what we got. Okay, we'll set this aside. And now for our milkshake. It's pretty basic. We're gonna do vanilla ice cream, one cup of milk, some green food coloring, and then peppermint extract. Got our milk. Now we need two big scoops of ice cream because I like my milkshakes extra thick. Ooh, there is a construction truck outside. That's a little inconvenient. You wanna know something weird? When I lived in New Zealand, they don't call milkshakes milkshakes. Their version of milkshakes is literally like flavored milk. Their version of milkshakes, like what we think of as milkshakes, is called a thick shake, and I didn't know that. And so I remember the first time I ordered a milkshake, I was like, what in the world? Because it was legit flavored milk. So if you ever go to New Zealand and you want a milkshake, ask for a thick shake. And it got to the point where I had to literally tell them to not put any milk in it at all because it was not thick enough. Okay, that should be good. A couple drops of green food coloring, and then about half a teaspoon of peppermint extract. Amazing, we'll get our blades on, blender on up. Perfect. Now we pour. All right, you know what's next. This is the best part. Amazing. We'll add a few more marshmallows just for good luck. Incredible. Oh my goodness. So tasty. Wow. Let's line them all up here. We've got our mint chocolate chip cookies, our Lucky Charms treats, and the cutest ever shamrock shake. I hope this inspired you and gave you some ideas for St. Patrick's Day next week. Don't forget to wear your green. I'm curious, which one of these are you most excited to try or which one do you think would be your favorite? Once again, all the recipes are listed down in the description box below. If you wanna try any of them, please come back and let me know which ones are really great. Also leave a suggestion on anything else you'd like to see on this channel, whether it's a recipe, a tutorial, a vlog. I wanna make videos that you enjoy and I'm so, so thankful to be able to do this with you. Thank you so much for watching this week. If this video made you smile, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button so you can be part of the best family ever. Happy St. Patrick's Day and we'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you.